All right. Okay. V, I think, yep, we're live. Hey, everybody. Hi, guys. Are you there? Can you see us? Oh, my we chat. Are we are here. Oh, my chat room is missing. Oh, crap. Oh, no. This happened one other time. Shadow. <laughs> Where is my chat room? All right. Overlays. Chat room. <laughs> Oh, because I can't see who's out there. Options, stream, oh, there. picture. You, can you see? Yeah, I'm, I can see you online. I'm sharing it now to my page. Oh, me too. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Let's see, where else do I want to share? Group. Boom. Oh, uh, overlays. So that's what show overlay window. Oh, that's right. There we go. Chat. Okay, cool. Yay. I've got the chat back. Hey, Christy. Hey, Paula. Hey, Chantal. Hey, Daniel. Barrett. Hey, getting there. Oh, that's not the right one. That's why it's not coming up. Boom. Aha. There we go. Hey, Barrett. Hey, Chantal. Hey, Daniel. Yay! Bonsoir, Hi. Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Oh, bonsoir. Are you in? I'm, is that is that French? Are you in France? <laughs> don't so, mind me and my my Detroit Fago big gulp of great soda. What is it, Fago? Fago. Yes, this is a Detroit thing. Never heard of it. Can you believe it's that? It's a Detroit thing. We have our own. Uh, pop distillery. That's funny. <laughs> oh, I mean, they just make all kinds of pop. Um, so. Oh, she's Montreal. She's Montreal. Okay, that's it. Hey, T-Cry. Look, look, you know, know about Fago. I have to let, let them know. know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know Fanta, but I am in Central Florida, so. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, hey, I'm gonna read with that Tara dreams tonight. Ooh. Yeah. I got a new what? one. What is it? What is it? I wouldn't let you tell me about it. The, the Cosmic, Cosmic Visions, Visions Tarot, Tarot with the Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Ooh. All, All the way from Australia. Australia. Wow. And you guys, you guys know, know how I feel, I feel about, about black. black. So, so the, the edging. edging. This is the, the back, back of the car. Oh, beautiful. And, and it's, it's just black, black and white and, and then like, like rainbow. rainbow. So, so like here's, here's the leathers. Oh, Wow. Really so, yeah, yeah, beautiful. Every, everything, everything is black, black and white, and white with, with rainbow. rainbow. And oh, I, I love absolutely it. love it. The, the cards, cards are nice. nice. Um, they're a nice thickness, thickness not, too not, thick, not too thick, not too thin. They have, they have a, a good bend, bend to so when you shuffle, they're, they're not too stiff. stiff. I'm a little, a little echoey, echoey again. again. Oh, what? <laughs> so I, I did a, uh, an unboxing of the Small Spirits Oracle deck. Um, it's 40 cards, but look at the edging on that. I know, right? Hello? Oh, my, oh my God, that's dope. dope. So just, they're, they're all the small spirits. Aww. So some black and white, some not, some just like stick figures. Just mm -hmm. gorgeous, gorgeous. So Michael Anthony um, did this, and, and I, I know him. He's an Orlando, well, he was a Central Florida person. I was over in Tampa, um, which is still Central Florida. But just, yeah, it was a kickstart. I think I've been waiting for this for like a year. But I've I've got the um, I've got it um, in the unboxing. I'm gonna put that link there so if anybody wants to see it. Mm -hmm. Hey Linda, Natasha. Hey Linda, Natasha. Hey Norm. Your speakers that I'm echoing. Do what is it? Your, you think it's your speakers? Because I, I don't have anything, anything going now. now. You don't have anything open. Is your phone turned way down, like the volume way down? Um. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually talking to you on my phone. I'm connected to my phone. I'm going to turn, turn my... Okay. I turn my phone on vibrate. I don't know if my pet has, has, has anything to do with anything, but... I don't know. There was a troll? We had a troll? What troll? troll? <laughs> I missed him. What did, what did I, I miss? miss? Yeah, I don't, and, and I just have like my normal stuff open. So, what, what I normally do. Feedback. Hi. What is happening? 
see. Do you want to go out and try to come back in or just or just go with it? I'm cool. Only when I speak. Only when we speak. Interesting. Um let's try this if I do it like this. Can you how am I still I can't see any comments or anything, but am I still echoing? Am I still echoey? Huh. They say yes, I am. Because I can't see anything now. See, now I can hear myself. Someone said you're good. Someone much better. Good. Okay, much better now. Cool. Okay, it must have been my. You know, I've been doing it this way. I wonder. Well, I'll try and look at it. Okay. Okay. Well, Natasha says. Okay, now I can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Lord have mercy. What did I just do? V, it's all about you. Look at that. Oh, yes. Wow, did you do that? <laughs> I, I bumped something. That was funny. <laughs> it's all about V today. All right, can y'all hear me? Did that, did that make it any better? Christy says breaking up now. I'm breaking up now? Or yeah. she is? I didn't know what's going on. <laughs> Lost V sound. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, is this because you put your headphones in? I don't know. All right, I'm going to take them out. Now. Are y'all messing with us? Yeah, says Are y'all messing with us? All right. Okay. All right. Uh, Mitch is loud, but okay. Can y'all hear me now? Can you hear me now? V is fine. Okay, good. Wait. All right, Mitch is loud, but okay. Well, that's nothing new. <laughs> no, it's much, much better now. Okay, and you guys can hear me? Yes. Well, you guys, I just looked up today. Uh, Mercury's going retrograde January 30th, so we are in a little bit of the shadow phase. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll be interesting. Hey, Huff. Thank you, Christy. I know it is kind of spooky as well. Much, 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 much better. better. Okay, okay cool. cool. I'll move my microphone further back. Echo is back. And then I, do, I, I close my computer, computer and I'm looking at the stuff, stuff on my, 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 and my iPad, iPad now. So. So. Okay, now someone just said Echo's back with the earbuds out. So y'all, <laughs> y'all can have it both ways. Okay, I'm back to normal. Oh, let's not let's not forget. There's about a 40 second delay, so we can. That's it. Oh my goodness. So hey, you guys. So this is, I had to make a list. This is what my uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is going to look like. Basically from 10 a.m. till about 9 p.m. on StarCon. If you guys have not heard of StarCon, we've been talking about it. Um, but uh, it is a virtual conference. It was, it was going to be in real time. Um, it's, <laughs> you guys, it only works with Mitchell's headphones on. Uh-oh. So um, <laughs> we're going to hold here for a moment, just see if it's okay. Um, there is a delay. Yeah, like like I talk, but it's like if you type something right away, it's like forty minute, forty seconds away. So, how can we be sure you receive our donations? If I get one, I reply back. So, V, okay, I'm Mitch is fine, so I'm fine. V, it's all about you, V now. <laughs> so Barrett just put. Bear just put in StarCon.com. So yes, you guys, for as little as five bucks, you can get um, some public tracks um, for this weekend. And then there are some bigger um, workshops that if you want to be a part of V is, I think, Saturday morning. I'm the last one. They put me up against Ben and Belle Wynn, but hers is like exorcism. So I'm the love and light. Um, so Christiana told me, she said, listen, I don't want you to be upset, but I'm putting you up against Ben and Belle. I said, I'm fine. I said, especially that. I said, I'm going to go watch your class though when it's done. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But definitely check it out. So uh, Mitchell earbuds, no echo. Without earbuds, echo. With Mitchell earbuds, no echo. 
Okay, so um, Mitch is okay as normal. Okay, so we're getting conflicting messages of I'm okay, V's okay, I'm not okay, V's not okay. So we're gonna hold tight here. Um, <laughs> uh, and I would say maybe turn it up or down on your end or go out and come back and see if that helps you. Um, but uh, yeah, so if we're getting conflicting things, then, then we're gonna say it's y'all's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I wonder what would be the cause of it. Yeah. Because we haven't done anything different. different. Yeah, yeah. I've not done anything different. Anyway, so we're gonna move on. We'll go. We'll move on from here. We're still gonna have some good readings. All right. Let's let me set an intention. All right, that we would move from false beliefs, illusions, and ignorance to truth with love, kindness, and compassion. I set the intention that we would receive healing, guidance, confirmation, grounding, centering, balance, peace, harmony, alignment, joy, abundance, love, great care, compassion, health, wellness, safety, courage, and encouragement. I set the intention that we and all the equipment we're working with would resonate, operate, and vibrate in the highest frequency of that divine source, that pure white light, love, God, goddess energy that we can. I call in any and all of our angels and guides and those we work with on the other side. Whether we know who they are or not, into this time we have together, as long as they stay in high vibration and play nice, all of this for us. Good. Great growth, I say it. So it is! <laughs> Whew. All right. That was fun. Right, is, this, is this better? Am I echoing? Am I not? I put on my, my earbuds. Now, now, I can hear you. There was a little bit of craziness when you put them on, but I think we're okay. So... Okay, so Sandy says all good on her end. So Sandy's right, y'all. We're just gonna see. All <laughs> right. Okay. So V is echoing. Mitchell's okay. All right. So um, well, we're gonna move forward here. So um, okay, much better. We're gonna go with that. Thank you, Barrett. John, scene. No more talking about that. <laughs> okay. Ooh, by the way, my, another sty came back. Are you serious? Yeah, it, it kind of it popped today. But yeah, like yes, this morning I woke up and I was like, there's another pimple on my eye. So I'm like, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I know. <laughs> so funny. So, all right. Well, you guys, thanks for having some fun. We'll see you next week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like, honestly. Ooh, I tell you. <laughs> you know, um, hey, everybody. We're just, we're here. We're going to do our thing. We're going to have some fun. Uh, Mitchell, you're falling apart. Okay. Um, I, hope that, I hope that means like in my energy and just who I am and silliness versus my volume. So, oh, girl, what are you doing? You're adjusting your boob? Listen, it's, what kind of day are we having today? Oh, oh, all right. Huff's here. So, um, so you, I think we need to just get into our readings. How about you? What do you think? I think so. so. I think so. So if you are new here with us, um, welcome. If you are old, if you are regulars and you had a reading last week because we were here one week ago, even Norm was like, I, I got a message y'all are on tonight. Is that right? I said, yes, we did two in a row because <laughs> next Monday night, next Monday is Fabian and I's anniversary. It'll be 14 years. So we're going out to dinner. <laughs> Um, yay, 14 years. Um, so it's a temperance year. So <laughs> it's Patience, a temperance year. balance, moderation. <laughs> temperance for everybody. Um, with a little undertone of emperor. Um, no, hair, oh. hair font. <laughs> anyway, so the way this works is if you're new, just you, you get ready to hit enter. If you had a reading last week, we asked you not to hit enter yet because there'll probably be enough. We're going to do eight readings. Um, not yet, Barrett. There, that cancels. You cancel, but you can't do it until I say it. Hit enter. Why? <laughs> it's like. Oh, you can hear me turn it up? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank through. you, everybody. So, um, all right. So, if you first time here and you want a reading, type the word me, M-E, and that gives us permission to read you. We're each going to pull one card. If you were not here last week or you didn't get a reading last week and maybe three weeks ago you did get one, wait, maybe like 10 seconds before you hit me. So, V, can you see the um, chat box so you can tell me who's got what? Thank you, everybody, yep. for the anniversary wishes. Much appreciated. So... Type M E, which means I give you you give us permission to read. Ooh, all right. What the hell is happening tonight? All right, I got uh, Huff. Okay, so Huff is there. Huff, 
Teresa, Debbie, Milena, Paula, Sandy, Barrett, Crystal. That's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's eight. Yep, we got eight. All right, so here's here's who we got. Huff, Teresa, Debbie, Milena, Paula, Sandy, Barrett, and Crystal. All right, so and if you did not get on the list, then what you can do is you can piggyback with somebody. You can choose um, uh, one through eight. Number, just in your mind, choose number one through eight. Or if you got a couple issues going on, write down like issue number one, love and relationship, and choose a number. And then write, you know, new job issue, and then choose a number. You can choose, you can choose eight numbers for all we care. Because usually, it's it, usually almost every night, you're going to get a reading somehow, some way from all of them. Oh, and by the way, mm -hmm. V, I was going to wait. This is this is so me. I thought about it. I was gonna wear this blue, really thick, plush bathrobe because I was thinking she'll have her her blue wig on, and I'll wear the blue bathrobe. And then I thought, and then I kind of forgot about it. But I also didn't want to have like too much V neck showing. Um, I'm here for the cleavage. I know. I'm, it's not like I'm a prude or anything, but it's just so weird sometimes the way I think. I was like, man, nah, I don't want to do it. It's too much work. It's too much work. Um, <laughs> A lot of work. So, V, I'm not going to tell you what number I'm going to piggyback on because I chose it like an hour ago. So, and I said, I need to choose a number I never would pick. So, I'll tell you what. Seven. You're, you're choosing seven? No, is that the number that you chose? Was no, seven? I would choose a seven. I would choose a seven. Oh, okay. Three, seven, eight are my, like, my main ones. Gotcha. I am going to do um, six today. That's what I did. <laughs> And I had a feeling, I had a feeling, that's why I didn't want to tell you, because I had a feeling we were both going to pick the same one. So, Yay, I love it. And I'm reading with Tara of Dreams, and V's reading with, what is it, Rainbow, Black and Cosmic White? Visions. Cosmic Visions. <laughs> Cosmic Visions. Cosmic Visions. All yes. right. Yes. It, it, yes, Barry, it was oh, a wig. Yeah, because you didn't have the wig on. I just I did not feel like I didn't... No, so Isabel, Isabel said, "What do you mean issues? Like, what? You, what? You, if you had a question for us, what would that question be? You just you keep it to yourself. <laughs> you don't have to tell us because we just tell you. We tell you. Um, we tell you what we think spirit wants to be your most desired information right now. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. um, so, all right. So we're going to go with Huff first." All right. And I'm just calling you Huff because V always calls you Huff. And it makes I mean, me... Her name, is, her name is Nikki. Okay. Because it just... I'm sorry, Huff, but every time I say it, I just but, think of like drugs, like when you huff something. Isn't that what you do? Is it, Don't you huff something like like glue? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We called it snorting right. glue when I was a kid. All I did was Elmer's glue one time. Snorting glue. I love it. Oh, Isabel right, said so here just joking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like right. issues who's got uh -huh. issues mm -hmm. so Isabel said Isabel was just joking all right huh so what I have for you is the moon and so this is talking about um it, it's time for you to start paying attention to your dreams you know there's a lot of things coming to you intuitively that you are um either choosing not to see choosing not to follow um, and just, you know, the things in your waking world. So now they're coming to you in your dreams. So I feel like there's a lot of things that are coming up for you that you're really needing to pay attention to, make some decisions about. This is having to do with your vulnerability as well and learning to work within your level of vulnerability, okay? Um, stop trying to hide yourself from the world and show people what you, you know, um, for protection, what you want them to see of you, and just allow yourself to be who you truly are. Stand tall and firm in that. Okay. So. Ooh, that's I'm, what I, I'm, got. I am sorry. I'm giggling, and I'll tell you why afterwards. So for me, Huff. Uh, oh, the fool! Yay! Definitely, definitely. You know what's interesting? You know, I, I just keep being stuck on her word vulnerability, and it's like the fool. I feel like is just one of the most vulnerable. People, images, cards, um, mm -hmm. uh, um, archetypes there is. 
But I don't even think they know they're vulnerable. It's, you know, it's that beautiful childlike quality. So I would really, you know, em, em, embody that and step into that. Um, and, and if you notice, like, the, the fool's not even really there. It's like they're, they're, they're mm. it's just their clothes. I think their hands are there, but that's really kind of it. And then I keep being shown that this is pure potential. So it's like once you step into that vulnerability and get ready to start this journey, there's so much potential for you out there. Um, and I, I just, I, I really feel like this is going to be a really beautiful time for you. Um, so that was for number one for Huff. If anybody else chose to piggyback on. And first of all, aloha, Jamie Watson Wolf. And second, the reason why I was giggling. Aloha. I kept, you said it twice, and I was like, okay, I heard it wrong the first time. And then the second time, I was like, I know what she said, but I still heard it. I heard vulnerability. <laughs> 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 Whew, so, people, <laughs> what's up with this night? I, y'all, I, I don't drink. I can't deal. I don't drink. <laughs> Listen, um, there, this is the Cosmic Visions deck. Yes, Cosmic Visions. There's a Visions. Kickstarter. So, all right. All right. So, and then, so, okay. So, Huff, anybody who chose number one, we hope that resonated with you. And then we're moving on to Teresa and any number twos. This is T Cry. Well, Teresa. Yes. T Cry. All right, T. This is for you. Yay, Huff. Yay. Receive it. <laughs> what was that? Oh, Receive it. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight is just the night. Listen. Okay. Ooh. So, T. Cry. Um, it's funny. You have the, the fool card here. Oh, beat me right. up. Yes. And this is definitely about, um, you know, new initiatives and taking that leap of faith. And, you know, this is you know, Aquarius energy. And we talk about the Aquarians being um, the aliens of the deck, you know, just kind of thinking outside the box, doing different things. We are entering the age of Aquarius. So this is really time for you to start to um, open your mind and being a little more, uh, I would say not so linear, but just looking at everything around you and thinking outside of the box, doing different things, um, possibly being in the same lanes, but doing things differently than you've done in the past. This is just about new journeys and allowing yourself to um, be beamed up, so to speak, getting those downloads that come to you to say, hey, do this thing. And you're just like, I don't know why, but okay, let me go for it. Okay, so new journeys, new decision making, everything is brand new in this space and you get to dictate how it goes. Okay. And then from me, I got the Five of Swords. Ah, oh, beautiful energy. What is that energy? What is that symbol right there? Ah, Aquarius. Yes, and, and that's <laughs> Venus. So Aquarius and Venus. So, so very interesting. Aquarius and Venus. And I, I'm really just like the first time I've like put that together. I thought, well, that's interesting. You know, Venus, love that Mother Earth, that Empress energy. Um, but mm -hmm. re and I love this card because I'm going way away from traditional meaning. Pick your sword up. It is time to say what you need to say. Both hands on the sword. You need to take names. You need to cut things off. You know, get rid of the people that are there. Um, you, you know what? Be ready to be beamed up because it's like you're going to be in, a, in an alien universe. Um, and it's, you know, you're going to be cutting and slicing and dicing some things and people and cords and stuff. And, and I, I, Spirit just said literally the next 12 months of your life are going to feel extremely different than you've ever mm -hmm. felt before in a good way. It may feel like a little unknown and, and a little light and airy, but I feel like it's going to be like, wow. Spirit, they keep showing me like how I've been living in what I call the unknown. It's like I walk mm -hmm. around going, I, I'm I know where I am, but it just feels foreign right now. It just feels foreign. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you can get a little bit of that as well. And then also, when you said a queer, I heard, I heard a queer, Aquarius, Aquarius. What's happening today? Clear my ears know. out. That was number I two. Add one more thing about this card too. Um, this makes me think of you being experimental in some way, or you being the first person to do something that is out of the box. It's kind of like being beamed up and there's going to be these experiments, so to speak. But you are going to be the one that's kind of like the front runner or the leader in some way. 
So just wanted to put that out there as well. Nice. Very nice. That was number two in T-Cry. T-Cry. Okay, we're going to we're going to Debbie now. Wait, Nicole said she thought it was uh, that was Michael Jackson on your five of swords card. <laughs> it kind of looked like him for a second. I can't find I can't find him now. Well, he's beamed up, so he's gone. Oh, okay. Oh, Troy made it in. Troy, you what? are late. You get some demerits. But welcome. We're here. We're glad you're here. Hey, son. <laughs> All right. Who's number three? I'm sorry. Um, Debbie. Debbie. Ron number three. So if you've joined us, you can piggyback on three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, T. Christ said both of those spoke. Oh, good. Very good, Teresa. Perfect. All right, so Debbie, this one is for you and all the number threes. Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. I love this card. This is a card of fulfillment. You know, this is family. This is money. This is wealth and abundance. These, these are all of the tangible things in life um, that you work really hard for coming together and feeling that sense of accomplishment. Okay. Um, in this card, there's these 10 pentacles and then there's like the tree of life here. Um, the hands are just kind of giving and getting. So there's a sense of reciprocity happening. But once again, when we have a 10, we're getting ready for the ace. So this is talking about some part of your life and these elements are comfortable. And so now it's time to get ready to start planting new seeds. Um, to start the process all over again. But this is saying, enjoy the abundance that has been, that has come down the pipeline for you thus far. You've earned it. you worked really hard for it. Okay. And then for me, Debbie, oh, eight of cups. And, you know, it, as you enjoy, as you receive, you know, still take your moments and your time to turn inward. Um, I really feel like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. They're giving me like a lot of like 12 month kind of stuff. I feel like this is a card for you for the next 12 months of your life as well. This is Pisces energy. Um, I know this card well, um, <laughs> me and Bartolomeo. But, but yes, yeah, so I really feel like the next 12 months is gonna be a very introspective internal kind of journey for you. Um, and I'm being shown that, that moon to really take account of the moon cycles. Um, you know, new moons are great to plant and manifest. Full moons are great to release and let go. And I, it's almost mm -hmm. like I see you going, you know, plant, manifest, let go. Plant, man, it's like, like, like just like it's every, every 12, every 28 days you are harvesting and planting, harvesting and planting. So mm -hmm. maybe do a little research if you don't know about the moon cycles and stuff like that and just let the next 12 months be a really, really cool time for you of growth and change and spiritual involvement. Anybody else is on number three with Debbie, so definitely let us know if that resonated. And Milena, number four. Anybody with number four? Milena, number four. And did you notice Troy came in as all the Aquarius energy was flowing on the screen? All right. So, Melania and all the number fours, this one is for you. I heard Lego. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Debbie. All right. The four of wands. Maybe there's only one card. Okay. The four of wands. Ooh. Um, I love this. You have know, these four wands, and we have a sunset, the people back there dancing. Um, and so what this card is saying is that, you know, there is this need for you to rest your energy. It feels as though you've been busting ass and really doing what you need to do um, to get things done. And I feel like something has been accomplished, and there's a need for you to celebrate um, yourself. And by celebrating yourself, that is you allowing your energy to take a rest. Put your feet up for a minute. Really bask in what has been accomplished and completed. Um, finding a sense of grounding in your energy from that. Um, and then creating sacred and safe space for yourself to be able to kind of, um, it's kind of like, you know, after you have, um, you've been working really hard or you've been planning something and it finally happens. And this is like the coming down period. So like you get married and everything has been like ramped up for months and months and months and then you hit that peak and now it's afterward you get to just kind of relax and be. That's the energy and the feeling of this card. So allow yourself that time, okay? 
pat yourself on the back and then have a seat. All right. And from me, page of coins. And really take some time right now and learn about a lot of the more of the earthly things that are going on. Um, it, Spirit show me like like pull up like the three earth signs, Capricorn, V, Virgo, and Taurus, and look at some of the qual Virgo. I was about to say Venus, and look at some of the qualities of the earth signs. And just start to kind of implement them in their positivity in your life um, and just kind of learn and grow. But I really feel like this is a time for you where you've got some magic that you can manifest, some things that you want with your physical body, with your family, with your work, you know, with your resources. Um, just I see a lot of magic around you. Um, and, and, and it's interesting. Um, gosh, I thought of this earlier and I guess this is the time I say it. But I watched somebody on the WDA platform um, do manifest, uh, do spell spell casting with cards and it was another mind-blowing moment because it's just a simple thing it's like you know and she did it with Lenorm. it's like if you if you want to have create a spell for money you know you pull out the fish maybe you pull out the man for me um and maybe tower you know for like the corporation the big job and you just set those three cards on the table and you just let them become your spell in the name in the in the image of the three cards just powerful i, I know you probably do this but uh, yeah, so so there there you go for Milena. Oh, she's a Capricorn. Oh, beautiful. Oh, awesome, awesome. awesome. So, so if you're a Capricorn, Capricorn you're probably a workaholic, so it's time to take some time off. Take a day for, or so for yourself um, just to recoup, rejuvenate. All right. All right. We're, <laughs> we're going to Paula next. <laughs> That's so funny. I said something to you earlier and you totally ignored me. I was like... Me? I didn't hear what you said. I know you didn't. <laughs> I forgot. It was like when you, but you were starting to read. That's why I was like just shutting up. It's so much going on with communication. This is all the shadow Mercury. Got to be, right, yo. Woo. And we're right. right we're, so who, we're going into Aquarius, right? Yes. Which we is, just um, had a Capricorn new moon. Okay, and we're so going we're into, into Aquarius. Aquarius. So we're going. Hey. Into Aquarius, which Aquarius, Aquarius is still communication and stuff like that, right? Because it's mm -hmm. the air. Okay. technology, yeah, at Uranus and all of that. All right, so who is up next? That would be Paula. 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 Hey, hey, Paula. All right, Paula, this one is for you. You're welcome, Elena. You are welcome, welcome. All right, Paula, I have the Three of Pentacles here. All right, and so this Three of Pentacles is talking about working together, collaboration, cooperation, okay? If there is something that you are trying to bring to fruition, if this is a work project, you know, being on a team, if this is, you know, if you're self-employed, you know, having um, people work with you, or just in life, you know, having people all on the same page as you that have the same goal, um, they might be completely different in how they handle things, but there's this aspect of working together. You know, teamwork makes the dream work, basically. It creates the foundation for moving ahead. So if you feel like there's something that you, you know, don't want to do on your own or there's a need for you to reach out to grab some teammates or some team members, by all means do that. It will help the project move along and give it some grounding. And then for me, the Four of Cups. So... This is Cancer and Moon, um, and this is interesting because I would really say don't spend too much time thinking about it. Don't let your emotion, I don't like to say don't, but avoid letting your emotions control you. Avoid wasting, procrastinating um, this. You know, I, I really feel like the thing is to focus on, you've got the three cups in front of you and she just had three coins. So take the three cups, use the three coins, you know, move forward. Now is the time to stand up, take a step forward, even if you feel a little shaky, a little unsure. Um, and and I, Spirit's telling me that once you get your physical self moving in the right direction, then the energy is going to flow and you're going to feel better about it. And ultimately, I feel like you'll you'll be able to kind of like conquer whatever it is that you need to. And I also feel like there's a little bit of letting go of some fear. There's some letting go of some fear going on with you right now. So that was number five for anybody who chose five and also for Paula. Five, yep. All right. I missed somebody in, in the process. Barrett put three, I put four. But no, it was number five. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, that was number five for Paula. All right. So, number six. Number six is me, you, and Sandy. We're piggybacking on her ride. Sorry, Sandy. <laughs> Sandy, we're in the back seat of your, yeah. of your, uh, of your reading. And if you just joined right. us, um, you can choose four, no, six, seven, or eight. We've got three readings left. You can just piggyback on number six, seven, or eight. Don't pay, don't pay attention to um, Barrett or V and their numbers. <laughs> All right. So, number six. Sandy. Two of Cups. Oh, I love this card. So this Two of Cups here is talking about partnership. It's talking about um, chemistry, okay? And so um, this is really about the yin and the yang, you know, the divine masculine, divine feminine, and being able to merge those energies, whether this is a partnership and relation and, and the love aspect of partnering with yourself, partnering with another person, partnering with a project perhaps. But it really is about creating that sense of chemistry, of working together um, to really fall in love with what it is you're doing, fall in love with who you're with, being able to share, to give, receive, all of that kind, all of that good mushy stuff. So. And then from me, oh, Nine of Cups and manifest the shit out of it. This is more Pisces ah. energy. I just love, I love this card. It's such a, it's like, it reminds me of like a Mel Brooks movie where they pop, <laughs> where they pop, pop out, they pop out of the bag. They're like, what's up? I'm here. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, and it's like, it's, it's, it's funny because I almost feel like, and this is for Sandy, anybody who chose, this is me and you, V. It's like, mm -hmm. we are constantly getting surprised still when we manifest something and we're like, oh. Damn, that just showed up like 10 minutes later. I set the intention and here it is. And, yep. I, and I just love that. And, let me, and I'll tell you, if anybody listens to the sound of my voice, V, you can echo this with me. People, I have seen more faster manifesting of simple things. You know, like yes. just randomly like, I'm like, you know what? I want to buy a book. I, want, I don't know what book I want to do. What, you know, and I'll, next thing I know, someone walks in and says, I just picked up a new book. You, you ought to read it. And literally it was like the book I was trying to remember or something. So, I mean, simple yeah. things like that. Um, so really, really step into that manifesting, creating, you know, and just believe in abundance. Something I tell a lot of clients is, and this is, this was from um, Esther Hicks. And Abraham, you know, you you would never go around this world thinking to yourself, oh, I don't want to be too healthy because I'm going to take away some health from the people around me. I don't want to do that. So never think your abundance is taken away from anybody else. There is enough abundance for every one of us. I mean, you know, I don't want to yes. sound it, it's like we do deserve it. We are worthy of it, you know, and just step into that energy. So. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Aloha, Jonathan. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. You guys, Amy is one of the speakers um, for um, StarCon this coming weekend. And she's also the PR podcast um, person extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Amy, if you can, Amy, can you put in like the tickets where they can get the tickets again? We talked about the um, $5 um, if you want the public path. Um, but then also there's some there's another path um, where you'll get to me and V and a bunch of other people. So it's going to be an amazing weekend. So that was number five for Sandy and me and V. We're moving on to Barrett, number seven. Oh, you're welcome, Sandy from England. Yay. All right. So let's see. Number seven, Barrett. Ooh, Ooh the seven of coins flew out. We'll see if it comes Ooh. back up. I love putting cards back in to see if they come back up. All right, I need to, so I got the Son of Cups, but I did not look through, hold on, let me make sure. I mean, I don't know how the court is named in this deck. Oh. Uh, oh, so the Son is the, looks like it's the Knight. Okay, so this is the Knight of Cups. And so what this is talking about um, is Having your heart on your sleeve, but it's also really about managing your emotions, allowing yourself to find the balance so you don't ride too high or too low. Okay. Um, the, the night is about movement. So it is about moving those emotions and, and trying your best to find that balance in the middle. 
Okay. Um, intuitive messages coming down the pipeline, you receiving them and also you giving them. Um, just moving those intuitive messages along and about, okay? Um, also, when I see this card and when it comes up and the message is, um, don't jump in to save anyone if they have not asked. Mm. Come on. Okay. Um, this, 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 this archetype this card so to speak is just very much about help being helpful and wanting to help but at the same time it's like don't run over anybody's boundaries um by trying to offer them help or helping them without them asking for it you know you don't have to be a savior everybody's not looking for one okay so i will leave that message with this card as well and the way i put it is don't step on someone's karmatunity their karmic opportunity mm. That's a word that I like that. I pretty much the first hashtag you can go out there. I'm the first one. Um, I created that word. Mm -hmm. So, well, spirit I told love me. It. Spirit told me. So, um, all right. And then from me for Barrett, um, oh, the fool again. Absolutely. This pure, pure potential. And, and going off of what V said, I'm going to put this card down because it's like I see you and anybody who chose number seven. It's like you're, you're there, you're ready, you're willing. You know, someone mm -hmm. says, you want to go on an adventure? Boom, you jump. But until they ask you, there's no need to jump. It's like there's no need to, to do it. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like you're just ready, willing, and able when you're asked. Um, and until you're asked, just sit tight with that pure potential bundle inside of you, getting ready to mm -hmm. take flight. So, yeah. So I always I always like to say, you know, no drive-by <laughs> no drive opportunity, opportunity stealing. Yes. And, and yes. Amy, Amy wrote down, love it. So the, and we're, and maybe this has something to do for this. So I'm going to say it where that came from. One of my teachers in their book, um, they said, you know, you know, I believe that wisdom can erase karma. And that's from, mm -hmm. um, um, uh, Dick Sutvin, the hypnotist who I was trained under. And I love that because it really can rock some people's boat, what they think karma is. And then my Matthew Brownstein said, you know, he believes that karma is an opportunity for us to learn or to grow. Um, yeah. you know, so when you think about karma, I mean, I still think, you know, you know, if we were like, you know, this awful person in a past life and we come in this lifetime, then we have this karmic opportunity to learn from the opposites of it or but I don't necessarily think we have to go through the opposite of it to experience it, which I think where the wisdom mm -hmm. comes in. But yeah, so it's, it's one of those things where I've, I'm still sitting with the concept of it, but yeah, so. It's, it, it, it also reminds me of like a mother, mother you, you know, know trying, trying to protect their child, child so much so that their child never really learns the lesson because, because they never had a chance to fall. Yeah. You, you know, know, they, they never, never, so it's always been handled or taken care of. And the child just like never learns, yeah. you know, how to do that for themselves because someone always there to kind of, whoa, don't do that, did it, that kind of thing. And my, 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 my analogy for that is how many times do you see that parent, the kids on the training wheels riding that bike, you take the training wheels off, the parents back there holding the seat. The child doesn't know that they're not doing it on their own if you never let go. They're, they're going to mm -hmm. fall, probably fall. They're probably going to hurt themselves or scub their knee, but they've got to to experience that. Exactly. So, hey, Amy, so we have one number left for you to jump on, which is number eight. Um, we pick eight people, and if, if you weren't one of the eight that got picked, then you can randomly pick one. Or anybody watching, you can go back and start from the beginning, and you can pick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. Yeah, but anybody who didn't know what we're doing or didn't pick a number, you're number eight. And we're going to do that right now with Crystal. Hey, Chakra Spirit Tarot. All right, so Crystal. All right, last one. Oh, girl. All right. Come on. It's that time, people. <laughs> Mother of Cups. Mother so of you know what. The, the queen of, um, of cups. And so this is, and I love this because she's kind of, she's standing here and she's like receiving this divine 
um, sense of wisdom, information, just like kind of being poured over her. Um, so this is talking about, you know, her cup being full, being able to um, receive this divine information. When her cup is full, she's able to pour out, you know, if her cup is not full, she cannot and she will not be able to. So this is about checking your energy. If you are someone that is very giving of emotional energy, making sure that you're full before you try to empty your pot in on some, onto someone else. Okay. Um, this is also saying that if there's a need for you to reach out to, you know, get some divine wisdom to have your cup poured into, don't be fearful in seeking that. Get what you need. Okay. And it's such a beautiful deck. I love it so much. So I hope this resonates. Ooh, all right. I was busy blocking. <laughs> it's, yes, it's, and I, I, I saw that. I, yeah, and I tell you people, um, uh, V and I are in a professional private chat room, and this is happening a lot lately. And they're yes. getting, you know, not to call out a country, but a lot of them are coming from India. So very interesting. Mm. Yeah, so you guys, if you see that chakra spirit tarot, um, I blocked them, but um, you might want to go block them because they're obviously coming into our live, trying to spam y'all to get an accurate reading. Bless their heart. <laughs> I'm so glad, Crystal. Yes. Bless their heart. Thank you, Amy. All right. And then for me, let me pull my final card. Ooh, eight of swords. Protect Ooh. yourself. Gemini energy here. I feel like it's time to turn away from, because Gemini has that, you know, that that dual kind of personality, that the, the twins, mm -hmm. the lover's energy. Turn away from that side of you that um, has been getting kind of upset and hurt and frustrated by people. Um, turn away into, and it's and here's the image that I get. It's like you turn away from that energy and it's like you immediately deflect it and you just become a, and it, what it feels like just a little self-centered for a moment. It's like turn into yourself. Don't worry about the stuff that's going on behind you um, and just hang there for a little bit till you feel like you get your bearings, your balance um, until whatever's behind you kind of dissipates is what it feels like. Um, mm -hmm. Very interesting for that card. I've just never really felt that energy, but I almost feel like it's like, you know, you might need to just kind of, like I said, tune some things and people out for just a little bit um, mm -hmm. because until you until you feel grounded and centered and ready to go. So that's anybody who chose number eight and Crystal. Cool. All right. Let us know if that resonated with you. Oh. <laughs> it's so much happening. It is so, so much, much happening. Oh, you're welcome, Amy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thanks for hanging. So much happening with technology right now. Yay. But... I'm so glad. Oh, good. Recentering Re required. Good. Ooh, thanks, Norm. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad we weren't just a hot mess. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness. So cool. Well, you guys, we'll say it once again. This weekend, V and I are part of Starcon. S T A A R C O N dot com. Um, I know Amy put in the where you can get tickets. Um, you can do the full conference one day. You can do the public track, which gets you for five bucks. You get like four on Saturday, four on Sunday, which are like the public mm -hmm. classes. Um, you know, there's just a lot going on literally from like 10 a.m. until 9 p.m., 10 p.m. It's like a 12 hour day. I've, I'm going yeah. to have my lunches in the refrigerator and then I'm going to tell Fabian, you need to bring me dinner these three nights. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I got a bathroom right there, so I don't need to go far. There's a you little mini. There's a mini fridge right there. I'll have water. The only thing I got to worry about is my lunches and my coffee, my midday coffee. I can't. Yay, I can't. Amy, you're welcome. Good, good, good. Jessica, welcome, and you're you're. I'm glad it resonated with you. Oh, and and let's see, never. How are the public classes? Um, so you, uh, Paula, go to uh, starcon.com. If somebody can type that in, www.starcon, and you can see all about it. Um, like I said, if, if five bucks, I think they even have some. Uh, what do they call it? Like um, uh, when you get a tuition reimbursement or, or uh, scholar, like scholarship, scholarship, some scholarship stuff too. Um, but yeah, so it's a really, really cool weekend. 
I was going to say something else, and now I forgot. Woohoo! Yeah, Amy. She said you get all the recordings for 30 days, too, for whatever ticket you purchase. Nice! Oh, cool. Yay. Very nice. So, yeah, so I'm doing um, uh, eye movement therapy, which is a therapy for kind of like, you know, trauma, PTSD kind of thing, and tarot, how to bring it together. And V, you're doing all day divining? Yes, I'm doing ADD, all day divining. So, um, working with the tarot, play with the tarot, to make a divine work life balance. So, working and learning the tarot. Yay, thanks for coming. Oh, so we'll be back. Um, when are we coming back? Um, I think it's three weeks from tonight. Yeah, it's not the next eighth. week because I will be out of the class to teach and not the Monday after because I'll be out of town. I'm going to New Orleans. You guys, I'm so excited. I haven't been. I'm taken with my husband. This is his first time going. Um, so we're going together to celebrate. Um, eat our way through the city. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just have some us time. So it's super excited about that. So it is the eighth. So and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in right now so we y'all guy can y'all can jump on it. Jump get down on it. Well oh, you're about on to do it. you were about to do Kimasape. Huh? Do you don't remember that? Kimas Sugar Hill Gang Kimasape. Jump on it. Jump on it. That's the, <laughs> yeah. that's I broke my I broke my arm roller skating to that song. Yes, people. Did you say you roller skated to that song? And I broke I broke my arm. I was doing the just sim- I was just doing the simple leg crossover and I went down. I was like 15 oh. years old. I was fat, so my arm just went crap. And I'm sitting there, and I look at my arm, and the roller skate guy dr- skated by me, and he goes, "Are you okay?" And I said, "I think I broke my arm." And then he came by a second time. Are you okay? I think I broke my arm. Third time he came by, I said, "I'm fine." I got up and I walked off, and like like the bone was kind of pushing through the skin to the side. Yeah, it was not pretty, but I was numb. I was still numb, and I remember like 30 minutes later, I was like, "Oof." The wave of pain. But I called my mom and I was like, I'm sorry, I broke my arm. Do you have to come pick me up? I was scared. I was Aww. I was sad that she had to come pick me up. I mean that was that's my oh. typical personality. <laughs> oh baby. I know. So um yeah, we are off the hook. So I j ju- I'm trying to publish waving my phone around. Like it just don't um, it's care. eight o'clock on the eighth. We're all I'm oh, no sorry, seven o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm gonna, sh- I'm gonna I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna share it so y'all can go right to it. That way. Dun dun dun. So I just put the link. <laughs> Shock is your friend. Yes. So yeah, <laughs> it was good because <laughs> I was like. Pfft. So oh. I just so I just put the link for the next one, which is February 8th. Um, and then I'm gonna put in my um, PayPal if you wanna donate a little um, virtual Same. little virtual tip jar from a PayPal and my Venmo. Um, v, if you haven't done Thanks. that, definitely do that. Um, and you guys, yeah. if you feel led to donate to us the virtual tip jar, we appreciate it. If not, you can just share this. You can share any of our content. That's, mm-hmm. that's good as well. Um, I'm on TikTok, people. Go find Uh-oh. me, Mitchell Osborne, on TikTok. I'm I'm doing stuff daily. <laughs> <laughs> I have not. I I have it downloaded, but I have not put anything on TikTok. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the learning curve. I finally realized I love learning new shit. <laughs> Ooh, Nothing oh, wrong you, with that. You got your blue all. hair on that. You got your blue hair down there. I forgot. Uh-huh. So. Well, you guys, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate it. Whoever our heart person is was not here tonight because we only got 89 (laughs) hearts right now. So last week we had over 2,000 hearts. So somebody literally just, this is them all night. It's probably someone like Al. I'm here for it. They're probably like, heart, 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 heart. Rocket by your fingers. (laughs) Oh. Would you please put the links in the new event for the eighth? Um, uh, so I put, I did put the link for the eighth. Did you see it up there? 
It's one, two, three, four, five. It's above my two virtual tip jars. That's the eight. So you can click on that and then click yes, and you'll get a reminder. You can add it to your calendar and all that good stuff. Uh, thank you, Troy and Amy, for the oh heart. My God. Oh, somebody is. <laughs> Troy and Amy, I love you guys. Woo. All right, V. Well, it is 756. Yes, yes. Oh, put oh so put my put our tip link tip links. <laughs> I can't. The, you want you want us to put them in the new one, Paula? Is that what you're saying? We can do that. Yes. Put them in the event for the eighth. Uh, uh. I got the dun 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 dun. dun. Give us up, I can't. All right, I'm, I'm there. Okay, I'm going to post in the event. Woo. All right. I put mine in there. Thank you, Paula. All right, V. Thank you, Paula. All right, I'm, I'm looking at, like, what happened? The numbers just shifted. It's it froze. Something froze. It is back now. Okay. All right. Cool. So, um, oh yeah, it did. That's weird. It's like it, it like it paused or something because it mm -hmm. like reset. Maybe that's why the num the hearts were so low. Maybe it reset. So maybe. Ooh, what a night! Electronics. Thank you for getting us this far. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> that is my favorite phrase, Amy. Is I can't. Oh. Uh, mine yeah. is mine is I won't. No. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to say, may the beautiful, powerful, wonderful, awesome sexiness in me see and recognize the beautiful, powerful, wonderful, awesome sexiness in you. Namaste. And I say, namaste. <laughs> All right. Good night, you guys. Have a good night, guys. Thank you.